The summary of Who Says Elephants Can't Dance? brought to you by Click Through College. Who Says Elephants Can't Dance? Inside IBM's Historic Turnaround by Louis V. Gerstner Jr. is a business classic. As the former chairman and CEO of IBM, Gerstner narrates the extraordinary turnaround story of IBM from near bankruptcy to one of the most profitable tech companies in the world. Here's a detailed 3,000 word summary of the book. Grabbing hold of the elephant. IBM's tale is a story of corporate revival and leadership principles. Louis Gerstner Jr., who was the CEO of IBM from April 1993 to March 2002, describes his experience in turning around the tech giant. When he joined IBM, it was about to collapse due to increased competition and technological shifts. His story outlines the transformational decisions, bold leadership, and cultural change that saved IBM. Setting the stage. As Gerstner stepped into his role at IBM, he encountered a corporate behemoth on the verge of collapse. The tech giant was trapped in a culture characterized by an inward focus, lack of accountability, and resistance to change. Financially, it was a sinking ship with $8.1 billion in losses in 1992 and a continued decline in market share. IBM was plagued by bureaucratic inertia, unable to compete effectively with smaller, more agile competitors. Gerstner discovered a disjunction between IBM's reputation for innovation and the reality of its operational stagnation. There was a consensus among many industry experts and insiders that IBM needed to be split into separate, autonomous businesses, an idea that Gerstner would soon challenge. The Courtship of Gerstner This chapter delves into the selection and persuasion of Gerstner to lead IBM. As the then-CEO of RJR Nabisco, Gerstner was initially reluctant to take on the IBM challenge. The enormous scale of the problem and the likelihood of failure made him apprehensive. But, After several discussions with the board members, he was intrigued by the opportunity to resurrect a company that had once been a benchmark of success. Ultimately, the idea of such a unique challenge and the potential to bring about significant change lured Gerstner to accept the CEO role at IBM. First Impressions Upon his arrival at IBM, Gerstner was met with a culture mired in bureaucracy and resistance to change. The focus was inward with strategies built around products rather than customer needs. Employees were engrossed in internal matters and corporate politics, often losing sight of the market landscape and customer requirements. The company's decline was exacerbated by an adherence to outdated practices and a belief in the invincibility of the IBM brand. Gerstner immediately recognized these flaws as key obstacles to be addressed in his mission to rescue IBM. Strategy and Structure Gerstner challenges the prevalent notion that reorganizing structure comes before reshaping strategy. He argues that structural changes are futile if they do not align with a well-defined strategy. He disagreed with the popular proposition of breaking IBM into smaller, independent companies, often referred to as baby blues. Recognizing that customers sought integrated solutions rather than individual products, Gerstner believed IBM's competitive advantage lay in its ability to provide holistic solutions. This conviction would guide his strategic decisions in the coming years, laying the groundwork for IBM's eventual turnaround. The fight to stay alive. This chapter highlights the severity of the crisis at IBM and the aggressive measures Gerstner implemented in the early stages of his tenure. The company was hemorrhaging money, teetering on the edge of bankruptcy. Immediate and drastic cost-cutting measures were essential, along with the restructuring of the sales organization to drive revenue growth. Gerstner steered IBM towards more profitable business areas, focusing less on hardware and more on software and services. Simultaneously, he emphasized putting customers at the center of the business model, recognizing that this focus was vital for the company's survival and eventual revival. Changing the culture Gerstner understood that the inward-facing, self-preserving culture at IBM was a significant barrier to change and progress. To transform the company, he had to reshape the ingrained corporate culture. His initiatives involved promoting and rewarding behavior that was customer-centric and business-driven. Gerstner also aimed to dismantle the bureaucracy and foster a sense of urgency within IBM. He worked to instill an external market perspective in employees making them aware of the need to deliver what customers wanted, not just what IBM was accustomed to providing. Developing a strategy. 
Having stabilized IBM's immediate financial crisis, Gerstner shifted focus to developing a long-term strategy. This strategy was built around the customer, diverging from IBM's traditional product-centric model. Gerstner believed that the path to success lay in understanding customer needs and providing comprehensive solutions rather than standalone products. This involved aligning IBM's vast resources and capabilities to deliver solutions that addressed customers' business challenges. This shift in strategy played a crucial role in IBM's transformation into a market-driven, customer-oriented organization. Building the team. Gerstner believed that a capable and committed team was fundamental to IBM's success. He emphasized the importance of having the right people in the right roles, dedicated to the company's new vision and strategy. In his quest to build this team, Gerstner looked beyond IBM's traditional talent pool, bringing in individuals with different skills and perspectives. He nurtured a culture of accountability and performance, expecting team members to deliver results in their respective roles. Gerstner's efforts to assemble a strong, diverse team marked a critical step in driving IBM's turnaround. Reorganizing the portfolio. In this chapter, Gerstner dives into the reshaping of IBM's business portfolio to align with its customer-centric strategy. Gerstner was not averse to making difficult decisions, such as divesting from non-core businesses, acquiring new ones, and entering into strategic alliances. Gerstner pushed IBM to focus on high-growth areas, notably software and services, sectors where IBM had been weak. His decisions, particularly the acquisition of PwC Consulting, added significant value to IBM's portfolio, allowing the company to offer a more extensive range of integrated solutions that met the evolving needs of its customers. Managing for Productivity Gerstner acknowledged the importance of operational efficiency and productivity in securing IBM's survival and eventual success. He worked on streamlining the company's operations, making them leaner and more effective. Gerstner initiated measures to improve efficiency across the board, optimize cost structures, and extract maximum value from every dollar spent. He believed that this increased productivity was fundamental in improving IBM's financial performance and competitive positioning. The e-business strategy. Recognizing the potential of the internet to reshape business operations globally, Gerstner developed a strategy to position IBM as a leader in the digital transformation wave. He envisaged IBM as the go-to company for businesses looking to move their operations online, offering them integrated end-to-end solutions. By capitalizing on the dot-com boom, Gerstner successfully positioned IBM at the forefront of the e-business revolution, paving the way for a significant new revenue stream and reinforcing IBM's industry leadership. How it all came together. This chapter ties together the various strategic, operational, and cultural changes that Gerstner implemented throughout his tenure. The integration of these changes marked a pivotal point in IBM's turnaround. The shift from a product-centric to a customer-centric strategy, coupled with a relentless focus on execution and productivity, culminated in a phenomenal financial turnaround. However, for Gerstner, the real success was the transformation of IBM's image and its reinstatement as an industry leader, an organization once again known for its innovation and customer-centric solutions. Building the future. Having successfully turned around IBM, Gerstner shifted his focus to ensuring the company's future growth. He knew that the tech industry was characterized by constant change and that IBM needed to stay at the forefront of technological advancements to retain its leadership position. Gerstner emphasized the importance of continuous innovation and diversification, encouraging investments in emerging technologies such as AI and cloud computing. He also promoted the strengthening of IBM's service business, recognizing the increasing importance of technology services. Gerstner's vision was for IBM to continue evolving and growing by staying in sync with the market's ever-changing needs and preferences. The Lessons of History In this chapter, Gerstner reflects on the key lessons learned from the IBM turnaround. He emphasizes the importance of a customer-focused strategy, strong leadership in managing change, and the value of a diversified portfolio. He underscores that culture plays a significant role in an organization's success. Changing IBM's culture from inward-looking to market-driven was one of the biggest challenges Gerstner faced, but it was also one of his most crucial successes. Moreover, Gerstner highlights the importance of adapting to technological trends, 
arguing that IBM's future success will rely on its ability to continually innovate in the face of technological advancements. Beyond the elephant dance. In the concluding chapter, Gerstner reflects on his time at IBM and its future. He stresses the importance of continuous innovation and the need to maintain a strong customer focus. He believes IBM's future success will hinge on its ability to adapt and innovate in a rapidly changing technology landscape. In Who Says Elephants Can't Dance? Gerstner gives a detailed, behind-the-scenes look at his experiences in turning around IBM. His decisions, based on his beliefs and principles about leadership, strategy, customer focus, and corporate culture, played a significant role in transforming IBM from a company on the verge of collapse to one of the most successful tech companies in the world. The summary of Who Says Elephants Can't Dance? by Click Through College.